Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Cat Jam. I am a Twitch and TikTok streamer and I also make YouTube videos and some of my favorite YouTube videos include live streaming for dummies. It's a series on here where I do tutorials, how to's, and I have even some vlogs day in the life of a streamer coming up. So I'm super excited about that. So if you're a streamer or you wanna be a streamer, stick around on the channel, subscribe, like this video and comment and maybe you can learn a thing or two about streaming. Today, we are going to talk about my favorite thing about my channel, which are my channel point redemptions. So if you don't know what channel points are, it's essentially a reward system that gives yours points every time they watch somebody stream. So the longer you watch someone stream, the more channel points that you can rank up. And channel points can include things like play with viewers. Some streamers even have a hydrate button where every time a viewer clicks the hydrate, but in the streamer has to take a sip of their water. They could be super simple or they can be really fun and they could be super interactive with the stream, which is how I like my channel points to be. Nice. And if you want that too, I can explain to you how I have interactive channel points. And if you're curious on what those look like, I will show you right now. So here is a channel point redemption that somebody from my stream who has 500 channel points can redeem. Fuck your life! Bing bang! So it's super fun and it honestly scares me most of the time when my chat redeems these channel points. Um, so it's super fun for them to just throw me off my game. The reason why I love these channel point alerts so much are two reasons. One, it's super interactive. So your chat is able to control the stream a little bit and add different elements that they like in the stream. And number two, it really helps with viewer retention. So when viewers are trying to rack up those channel points and redeem an alert that they really want, they're gonna continue watching the stream so that they can earn that channel point. So without further ado, this is how I set up my channel points. So the first thing you want to go is you want to go to this website called Trigger Fire. This is what I use to do my channel point alerts. And I went ahead and put the link for Trigger Fire in the description of this video. So first things first, you are going to log in with Twitch on the top right. It's going to bring you to this page where you're going to set up your channel point alerts. Now, as you could see, there are three tabs on the top. There is an images tab, a videos tab, and a sound tab. But for this video, we are going to start on images. Now, these don't have to be still images. You can use GIFs. I recommend GIFs. I think they're a little bit more interactive than just plain static images. As you can see, all of mine are GIFs. So the first thing you want to do is come to the bottom right corner, click the plus button, and you're going to type a channel name. For this, I'm going to type YouTube. Next, you are going to click this channel point icon right here on the right. And in the reward name, you are going to type YouTube again. This is really, really important to make sure that this is spelled correctly and it's the same exact uh, word as that command name. If you hit allow command, people can essentially write exclamation point YouTube in your channel and it'll pop up. And we don't wanna do that. We want people to use the channel points. So you're gonna go ahead and hit save. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to go select image go over to upload here on the right last tab, select file, and then I scour the internet for which GIF that I liked. I'm going to do this. This is a little subscribe button GIF. I'm gonna open it and it is going to import here. And as you can see, I'm in the images tab. Make sure it's an image. If it's an MP4, it might get lost in this videos tab. So make sure it's a GIF. And then you are going to hit the check mark right here on the top right of that GIF that you just imported. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save on the bottom right. So this is where it's gonna get a little tricky, so stick with it. If it doesn't work the first time, you might have to refresh this page. You might have to do some tweaking here. This is where I usually run into issues. It's where we wanna focus. I'm gonna log into Twitch and open my creator dashboard. And then what you're gonna do is go to the right where it says viewer rewards and hit channel points. I call my channel points cat treats. So essentially you can name them whatever you want them to be. And I'm going to go manage rewards and challenges and drop down this. 
And then you're gonna scroll down, see where it says custom rewards? We wanna focus on this tab here. So scroll down and hit add new custom reward. And then where it says reward name. So in reward name, you wanna make sure it matches that name that we gave in Trigger Fire. Just so that I know, I'll open this up and check that it says command name YouTube. So I go into Twitch and make sure this reward name is YouTube. I believe it's case sensitive, so just be super careful in making sure that it's the same exact word. So description, you can add a blurb on what exactly the channel point is. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave it blank. I'm going to keep the cost at 50. I like to keep images at a lower cost than I would for a video or a sound, for example. They tend to be quicker. People don't always see them. It doesn't give a big reaction on stream. So I like to keep them a little bit less. You smart. You very smart. And then for reward icon, again, you don't have to fill this out, but this is just what's gonna show up right here where somebody clicks the reward. Sometimes I have reward icons for my channel point redemptions, but again, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna leave it blank. But this channel point icon would show right here where somebody's just about to redeem a channel point. Background color, again, it's just gonna change this color right here. And then I very much recommend you do a cooldown because in the past, when I first started doing this, I didn't have a cooldown and people would spam channel point alerts and it got so frustrating. So um, for a picture, I could do two to three minutes. For the sake of this video, I'll do two minutes. And then you can limit redemptions per stream, which I don't like to do, and limit redemptions per user per stream, which again, I don't like to do for these. I just like letting people do their thing. Just keeping that two minute cooldown will avoid any really annoying spammy channel point alerts. So then I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. So here it is, right here where it says YouTube. I like to double check to make sure it is enabled. That is super important. And then when somebody goes into your stream, they can redeem it. So I'm gonna go back to Trigger Fire and just upload one video just to show you how videos work. Again, same process. You're gonna go to this plus button down here, type the command name. I'm going to make this correct and you'll see why in a second click the channel point button reward name correct save select video upload video select file and i chose this video of squidward so you hit that check mark in the corner right and it should look like this warning i like to bring my volume down a lot because it's super loud and i go ahead and hit save same process, go over to Twitch and scroll down, add new custom reward, type correct. Why do I keep typing a five after correct? What is happening? I don't know. What are you asking me for? I ain't got nothing to do with this. Why is you asking me all this question? And then go to cost. And we're gonna make this 100 channel points. And then redemption cooldown, two minutes. And hit create. And again, just scrolling up and looking for that video. And then scrolling up, looking for that command where it says correct. It's right here, 100 channel points. It's enabled. We are all set. We are ready for the next step. So we're back on trigger fire and we have all of our little commands set up. And then what you're gonna do is go back to trigger fire, repeat that process, put all your videos, images, sounds in that you want on your stream. And now we need to drag this overlay from trigger fire onto our OBS or slobs. It works the same as slobs, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it on OBS cause that's what I use. So what you're gonna do is click this pink button down here. It looks like a little link. And you're just gonna copy this link right here. Open up OBS. It looks like I'm in the matrix. What? Then you're going to open OBS and you're going to hit the plus button down at sources. And then you're going to hit browser. You can name this trigger fire, press okay. And then where it says URL, you're going to paste the code. And then for width and height, I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080 because that is my stream size. And I'm gonna hit okay, and it's gonna give you this big screen and fit perfectly. Your stream might be a different size, so just look in your aspect ratio, whatever. But that's what mine is, so that's why I chose 1920 by 1080. So before you go streaming, I would definitely recommend testing this so your chat is not wasting their channel points on an alert that doesn't work. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the chat right here, click on channel points. In my case, they are called cat treats. And I'm going to hit this and see if it works and pray that it works. Redeem. 
Correct. It works. So there you go. That's how I do that. Let's test the the picture I did too. The subscribe button. Where is that? Here it is. The YouTube button. Nice. So there you go. Oh, it's a long video. There it is. I'm gonna have to fix that. That also is something that you might want to look into. How long the GIF lasts. You know how long the video is. You might just want to do a little bit digging on uh, how long those things are because it could get a little bit annoying. I do have a really long channel point alert that I. It's a little bit more expensive. This is the one that's more expensive because it's so long. I'll show you. Hey, the beat go off. And see how loud it is? That's why you really want to make sure that uh, the volume is set to how you want it to be. For that case, I like that channel point a little bit louder just because it's obnoxious and it's expensive. And I like to give my chat what they want to see. And yeah, it's super fun. I love channel points. I have a lot of them that I like my chat to, you know, dive into and, and get creative. And sometimes they even request channel points, which is my favorite thing ever. As you could see, I requested a lot of channel points for this video. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up channel points using Trigger Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoy making these videos for you all. And I really hope that you find these videos helpful. And I cannot wait to go into your stream and request all of the channel point alerts. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please subscribe, leave me a like and a comment, letting me know what you want to see next. I think next video is going to be a Q&A. So if you have any questions, I would leave it down in the comments below. And if you want to catch me on my next stream, go to the description below. You can find my Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the things down there. And hopefully I can catch you in my next live. Um, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.